Hello everybody and welcome to this video. I am Seema Shanoi Manik, a transformation coach and in this channel, I provide you with psychology based insights and some powerful mind reprogramming strategies from sciences like NLP, hypnosis, emotional intelligence with which you can completely overcome your internal limitations and start living a happy, healthy and fulfilled life. In today's video, which is a part two of a series, I'm going to be talking about three more phrases that you can use to reduce resistance in your conversations. If you haven't watched video number one, you can finish this video and go to that video. This is a, these six phrases are all independent of each other. So you can complete this video and go to the other video, which is going to be in the description. This is also a part of a series of videos. So I'll put in the link to all the other videos that I have made on influence so that you can watch every single one of them. So let's get started. Are you ready? The first phrase is you probably already know. Like I discussed in the previous video, the objective of these phrases is to surprise the other person and say something that they don't expect. Subconsciously, they are expecting you to follow certain patterns and you need to say something that's that's not fitting into that pattern so that you're surprising them. Surprise is a key element of putting people into hypnotic trances. So subconsciously, when you use these phrases and they don't really know what you're doing, but it's it's not what they're expecting. They tend to get into a hypnotic trance and then they start agreeing with you. They start trusting you and agreeing with you, right? And that's what you want, isn't it? So when you use the phrase, you probably already know this. <laughs> People are expecting you to say that, hey, listen, you don't know this or I know everything. But here you're saying something and you're saying, hey, you probably already know how important it is to invest money in yourself, to invest in your self-development. Now, if you were to tell somebody this directly, it is something that's good for them. You want them to know that you got to invest in yourself for self-development. But when you tell somebody directly, they might put up resistance. They might say, oh, not today, tomorrow, maybe some other time. I'm focusing on my career right now. People don't like to admit that they don't know something. Everybody wants to come across like they know it. They know everything, right? So when you say you, you probably already know, they go subconsciously, yeah, I know. I know because I know everything, right? So this is a great way to get someone to say a yes to you mentally because you are assuming they already know and they don't want to disagree in their mind. So they have no option but to say a yes. Amazing, crazy way to get somebody to say a yes, is it not? Remember that everything that I'm talking about, all these strategies that I'm sharing in all my videos are really, really powerful strategies and you can use it to manipulate people or you can use it for creating win-win situations. And I trust that my community and everybody who comes here is going to use it for win-win situations because when you start using these strategies for manipulative reasons, they will work for some time and after that you will get caught. If you are somebody who agree with this philosophy of mine that it's important to be ethical, it's, it's, it's very important to be authentic in everything that you do, please type in I agree in the comment section and if you disagree, let me know why you disagree with me. I would love to hear that too. The second phrase that you can use to subconsciously reduce resistance is only a crazy person would or only a mad person would or only an idiot would. So only a crazy person would think that this is not a good idea or only a crazy person wouldn't get excited with something with this opportunity. So nobody likes to be called crazy or an idiot, right? Of course, be very, very careful when you're using this particular phrase because you do not want to offend people, right? So when you're using these phrases, you got to use them very casually. Don't put too much emphasis on your words and say only a crazy person would do this <laughs> say very casually I can't believe only a crazy person would not take this opportunity only a crazy person wouldn't understand how important this is for them so say it in a very casual way when you're trying to subconsciously use phrases you got to say it in a way that it gets embedded in the other person if you know highlight it in such a way that their conscious mind catches it the moment you start highlighting and emphasizing too much on things people's conscious mind catches it conscious mind is the critical mind it's it's critical thinking right so it's going to question that does this make sense what this person say 
but because you're trying to get the subconscious to listen to you and conscious logic is shut down for the time being you got to say these phrases very very casually enveloped in your other conversations right and you might say how am i going to get good at this you get good at everything by trying first you might not be good at it right away always try these strategies with people around you first you know try it with your child try it with your spouse try it with your peers try it with the uh, people you interact with on a daily basis include these phrases in your conversations and see how it works because over a period of time they become a part of your vocabulary and then you will start using them subconsciously yourself and suddenly you realize that you become a influencer you can influence people you can get people to say yes very easily and sometimes you don't know why but it's because you're using these amazing phrases and these words that reduce resistance in your conversations the third phrase is if you had to choose between if you had to choose between being stuck at home not knowing what to do and building a powerful career for yourself which one would you choose if you had to choose between living a mediocre unfulfilled life to a life where you have true choice which one would you choose if you had to choose failure where you just don't know what you're doing to a place where you are appreciated and loved which one would you choose <laughs> do you get what i'm saying when you use the phrase if you had a choice between this and this and which one would you choose and you're giving them two choices with in which one is really bad and one is great which one do you think people are going to choose obviously the one that's great right nobody is going to say oh, i want a miserable life i want to be mediocre i don't want to take action i want to be stuck in my people won't say that people want to succeed people want to be happy people want to be appreciated so when you want somebody to choose something that's good for them you want to stop putting up a resistance like sometimes you try you you're speaking to a friend who is stuck in a situation and you you trying to tell them that hey listen you shouldn't be in this situation you should find a better place in your life where you are appreciated the person goes no no but this and that and you get frustrated at what's wrong with this person why isn't this person not wanting something better that's because that person is in a comfort zone that's because that person is afraid of a change that person is afraid of what they want there might be a hundred reasons that person is stuck and then they're not able to come out the moment you put choices like this in front of people they most often than not are going to choose what is good for them what sounds more exciting and what is going to help them grow so it's pretty incredible how these strategies work in this video and in the previous video i have spoken about six mental strategies that you can use that will instantly reduce resistance in your conversation and will help to influence others subconsciously these phrases reduce resistance they take people by subconsciously take them by surprise they make people want to take action however remember these two points one you got to try try these out try them with your family don't just listen to me and say that hey this is interesting this is very nice <laughs> it's got to translate everything we talk about needs to get translated into your life it needs to get translated into your language into your pattern so that you become this powerful communicator speaker confident person who's able to take action who's able to create abundance in their life and that's what i want for you and please folks if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel do that right away because more than 100 powerful videos on influence law of attraction neuro linguistic programming emotional intelligence and i am going to be taking massive action and creating some some more every single week you're going to be seeing videos from my end so subscribe watch at least one video of mine every single day make it a part of your schedule because once you do that you watch a video practice it watch a video put it into your life you will see some tremendous transformation in your life and if you want me to mentor you coach you in your journey towards your personal and your professional transformation uh, please visit our website so that you can look at our upcoming program become a part of my community and all our initiatives thank you so much for joining me for this video click the like button if you have enjoyed this video and i'm going to see you very soon in another video bye bye